churches that stagnate and decline, have in common one clear trait. They do not allow small groups to function as the body of Christ. In contrast, churches that continually grow, authorize their small groups to obey freely all the commandments of Jesus. I did not shrink from declaring to you anything that was profitable, and teaching you publicly and from house to house, solemnly testifying to both Jews and Greeks, of repentance towards God and of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. 7 Functions of Small Groups Within Churches 1. Small groups provide pastoral care. These groups watch over their members, in order to provide timely care, whether spiritual, emotional or material. 2. Small groups take in charge the making of disciples of new believers. They teach everyone to pray, to love, to celebrate communion, to worship, to give, to testify, in brief to obey the commandments of Jesus. 3. Small groups take the good news to neighborhoods. Their members bring and welcome visitors, show them love, and teach them the gospel of Jesus, through miracles and the word of God. 4. Small groups exercise the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Participants employ their spiritual gifts to serve one another such that the body of Christ is built up in love. 5. Small groups raise up new workers. In the midst of small groups, those whom the Lord gifts for Christian ministry are recognized, and acquire their first experiences. 6. Small groups serve local populations with good works. Members organize to meet community needs with small projects within their ability. 7. Small groups multiply their church across a region. Existing groups send some of their members to start new groups in the homes of new believers in neglected communities and places.